obviously it has come to our notice that no one is even happy about Tonobo's selection of a running mate. Even the governors are not happy with this decision in the manner which he announced his running mate. They all gathered at Daura to solve this issue. Before I go ahead to the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe. It is a must for you to stay subscribed to this channel because this is the only place you can get reliable news from. In the whole of YouTube, this is the correct place you need to be. So stay subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post a new video. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. The All Progressive Congress governors on Monday at a meeting with the President, Major General Muhammad Buhari retired, expressed reservation over the manner the party's presidential candidate, Bola Tinobu, handled the selection of his running mate, Senator Kashim Shetima. The news gathers that it took the intervention of the president to pacify the governors and rally them to support the Tinobu Shetima ticket when they visited his Daura home. Sources at the private meeting between the president and the nine APC governors said although the APC candidates reserved the right to pick his running mate, they had not concluded their discussions with Tenobu before he went ahead to announce Shetima. The news had on Monday reported that the Southwest governors preferred the Kebi state governor Atiku Bagudu and his Kaduna state governor Nasio Erufai because of the voting strength of the region. It was learned the governors were angry when they heard that Tenobu had picked Shetima. Tinubu had earlier revealed on Sunday that he hadn't even informed Shetima of his decision to pick him as his running mate. At the meeting, the governors expressed their anger over Tinubu's decision to pick Shetima. It was as if he didn't even care about the opinion of the governors, even though he will rely on them for mobilization. Buhari, however, pleaded with them to accept Shetima. Since he is a loyal party member, said an aide to one of the governors. A source close to a Northwest governor said the governors were all surprised by Tinubu's announcement. We all watched the announcement on television, just like every other Nigerian. Tinubu does not discuss this with anyone. He even admitted that he had not informed Shetima of his decision to pick him as a running mate. This was not proper at all, and the governors made this known, he said. The associate of Tinobu also told the news that Tinobu was not supposed to have made the announcement in that manner. What happened was just like Tinobu's announcement at the presidential villa in January, when he told the media about his intention to contest. Sometimes he makes these announcements in the spur of a moment. Some of us were shocked, he added. I feel like part of the reason why Tenobu just, you know, blotted it out to journalists on Sunday after speaking with Buhari was because it felt like if he went on to start consulting with other people and telling other people of his final decisions, you know, people will want to sway him and, you know, make him, make him do their bidding. But he didn't want to do that. He just went ahead and announced to journalists right after he finished speaking to Buhari in Daura. You know, Tinobu is, Tinobu is like, it's just, I think Tinobu is someone that doesn't want to be controlled. He just wants to do his thing. And that is why even the options that these governors are giving him, this governor actually wanted him to pick one of them. They actually wanted him to pick a sitting governor, and which, which is also a Muslim. Imagine, it's still the same Muslim Muslim ticket, which means all these governors knew along right as, as ever since that they were obviously going for a Muslim Muslim ticket. 
And I don't know why these people feel like they can get the most votes from the North. This next election is going to shock them because a lot of Nigerians are really, really ready to go out there and vote. We can we have seen that in the past like weeks, how people have gone to INEC offices and requested for, for their PVC. People are really ready to go out there and vote. You know, since before now, it's been the northern part of Nigeria that, you know, they do not really have that much population, you know. Is controversial, but anyway, a lot of people over here just feel that why do I why will I go and disturb myself and vote when you know the person will still get there and not really do well? Why will I go and you know stay under the sun and do all those things that will inconvenience me when at the end of the day I will, I will still not you know will still not get what we are looking for, will still not get that good leader. But this time, at this time around, a lot of youth now see that, oh, okay, we have Obi, Peter Obi. Peter Obi is going to, you know, represent us well. He's a very good person, blah, blah, blah. He's going to get there and really do well for us. So let us, you know, let us stay right behind him and support him. That is what a lot of youth, I'm telling you, <laughs> I never knew that, you know, youth could be this serious once in their life. And maybe because of the ASU strike. A lot of youth has really, really said we are ready to vote this time around and we are going to collect our PVC. And we also remember what happened during the NSAS, you know. The, the, the strike was also ongoing then. A lot of students were not in school and that is exactly what is happening at the moment. And I'm telling you, if this strike do, doesn't, uh, doesn't end before the election, I'm telling you, Forget that the north, northern part of Nigeria have numbers. You are going to see the youth in their numbers at the polling unit on the election day, this coming election. So I don't know why they keep believing that. It is when they have a northern person, someone from the north, that can, you know, give them votes. That can, even Tinubu, he doesn't even have fit with his western people here because he knows that a lot of people are not ready to vote for him. So that is why he, he wants to get someone who is a Muslim from the north, northern part of Nigeria, in order to, you know, gather votes for him. But anyway, we shall see the outcome of the election. The election is just how many months now? The election will soon come, so we'll see what will happen. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.